Okay. Hey guys. Um, it's me, Peacemaker, back with another video. So today's video is the first um video on top mythical, and this is the first video. And this first video is going to be called Top. I don't know how many um creatures in mythical creatures in Scotland and around it also places like Ireland and Wales and stuff like that and obviously the first one that will come in familiar when you see mythical creatures and Scotland the first thing that will come in familiar would be Loch Ness Monster I don't know if I'm going to put that monster in or not but let's just see. So, first one is Cat She. Now, Cat She, I guess, isn't very popular. And obviously, Cat She does not look like any single one of these. Um, but I will describe some of it. So, yeah. So, Cat She. Is a food creature from Celtic mythology said to resemble a large black cat with a white spot in its chest. So, yeah. Legend has it that the spectral cat haunts the Scottish Highlands. The legends surrounding this creature are more common in Scottish folklore, but a few occur in Irish, some common folklore suggested that the cat she was not a fairy but a witch that could transform into a cat nine times. The cat she may have been inspired by the Scottish wild cat itself. It's possible that the legends of the cat she were inspired by killer's cats, which are probably a distinctive hybrid between Scottish wild cats and domestic cats in the front of Scotland. But a subspecies of European wild cat, which is absent from elsewhere in the British Isles. Typical killer Killers cats resemble large black wild cats, but on some particular features closer to domestic cats, and have probably been pre present in Scotland for centuries, maybe even some two millennia or more. So that was Cat She. Let's move on to Rolahan. Um, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, guys. But let's go now. First of all, well, before I talk about this, this is absolutely nothing what the blue hand looks like. So, in the blue hand tale, a fourth is represented as being the mother of the blue hand, as a creature with eyes and a mouth, but no shape. A limited and limited ability of speech. When Murray or Ali of the mill stoked the fire with fresh peat, it caused severe burns to the Bolahan lying there, prompting of a fourth who was the Bolahan's mother to appear, demanding vengeance for her son. But the mishap in Bolahan, when asked about the identity of the culprit, could only answer me and you, and the fourth abandoned. Campbell draws the parallel with the story of the Cyclops, who in attempting to name the man who blinded him could only say that it was no man. Who harmed him? Because that was the pus sorry if I pronounce this wrong guys. Pusidonin that Ulysses had given. So now we are going to move on to the Selkie. So here we go. Okay, the Selkie. The Selkies are mythological creatures found in Scottish, Irish, and ferocious folklore. Similar creatures are described in the Icelandic traditions. Selkies are said to live as seals in the sea, but they but shed their skin to become human on land. This legend is apparently most common in Orkney and Shetland. And is very similar to those of swan of swan maidens. Trolls. 
So here we go. A chore is a magnificent. Oh, sorry, is a malignant or mischievous fairy. Or spirit in the full correct traditions of the Orkney and Shetland Islands. Trolls are generally inclined to be a short of stature, ugly and shy in nature, like the troll of Scandinavian legend, which the troll shares many similarities. Trolls are nocturnal creatures, venturing out of their trolly nose. Solely in the evening, they often enter households as the inhabitants sleep. Trolls traditionally have a fondness for music, and folk tales tell their habit of kidnapping musicians or luring them to their dens. Next one is the Kushi. So, here we go. This one's short, by the way. Okay. The Cushy is a mythological hound found in Scotland and the Hebrides. A similar creature exists in Irish folklore and it also bears some resemblance to the Welsh. And this is what it looks like. So, the next one is... is the Kelpie. Now you may know the Kelpie as this particular statue in Edinburgh. I've actually went past that a couple of times before. But this is sort of a different thing. So, a Kelpie, or you could call a water Kelpie, is a Scots name given to a shape-shifting water spirit inhabiting the locks and pools of Scotland. It usually been described as appearing as a horse, but it's been, been able to adopt a adopt human form. Some accounts state that the Kelpie retains its house when appearing as a human, leading to its association association with the Christian idea of Satan, as alluded to by Robert Burns in the 1786 poem Addressed to the Devil. Now I've actually read that one before, it's actually good, you should read it. Almost every sizable body of water in Scotland has an associated Kelpie story. But the most extensively reported is that of Loch Ness, parallels to the general Germanic neck and the Scandinavian backcast have been observed. More widely, the with him of Central America and the Australian bunny yip have been seen as counterparts. The, the origin of the belief in malevolent water horses has been proposed as originating in human sacrifices once made to appease gods associated, associated with water. But narratives about the Kelpies also served a, a practical purpose in keeping children away from dangerous stretches of water and warning young women to be wary of handsome strangers. And Kelpies have been portrayed in their various forms in art and literature, most recently in two 30 metre, 98 feet high steel sculptures in full kirk, which you can see right now. Kelpies completed, and, and the Kelpies were actually completed, the whole, both of the statues were completed in October 2013. The October is actually the month of my birthday. So, I think we have enough time to do one more, so let's do it. And it's the... Okay, I decided, and I just thought that you couldn't end this video without Nessie. And if you don't know what Nessie is, guys, and you're from another country, then I'm going to tell you about her right now. The Loch Ness Monster is a being of folklore that reputedly inhabits Loch Ness, a lake in the Scottish Highlands. It's similar to other supposed, supposed lake monsters in Scotland and elsewhere. Though its description varies from one account to the next, with most describing as it's large, popular interest and belief in the creature's existence has varied since it was first brought to the wrong's attention in 1933. <laughs> Evidence of its existence is anecdotal, with minimal and much disputed photographic material and sonar readings. The most common speculation among believers is that the creature represents a line of long-surviving plesiosauruses, plesiosauruses, 
Much of the scientific community regards the Loch Ness Monster as a modern-day myth and explains sightings as including mis misidentifications of more mundane, mundane objects, outright hoaxes and wishful thinking. The creature has been affectionately referred to by the nickname Nessie in Scottish and Gaelic, and in Gaelic it's Nisag since the 1940s. Whew. Okay guys, that is the very first video I've made on this channel. Hope you enjoyed it and bye.